Given f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 6, express the function in standard form f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus f plus k. Find x intercept, y intercept, and the vertex. Find the axis of symmetry and graph the function. f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. First, we're going to factor out the 2. So we have 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 3. So to complete the square, we're going to take a half of 2 and put it in the parentheses with x. So x plus 1. And we raise the power squared. And then we're going to subtract the square of the first 1. So we'll be negative 1. And the at the last 3. So we have 2 times x plus 1 squared plus 2. So this is a standard form of the function. Now to find x-intercept, we're going to set y equals 0. So y, which is f of x equals 0 equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. And divide both sides by 2, we get 0 equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. By factoring, we get x plus 1. Actually, we cannot factor that equation, so we have to use the quadratic equation and formula, so we have x equals negative 2 plus minus b squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a times c, which is 3, over 2a. So notice that when you calculate this, we get negative 8 inside the square root. So that means that we cannot have a real point for x-intercepts. So we know there's going to be a no x-intercepts. So to find y-intercept, the y-intercept, we just have to look at where x equals 0. So when x equals 0, the function becomes 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 6. So the answer is 6. A vertex is read from the standard form, which is 2 times x plus 1 squared plus 2. So vertex will be negative 1, which is the opposite of the positive 1, comma, Two, which is the one outside. So now we're ready to graph. So our vertex is negative one comma two, so we'll be negative one and up by two. And y intercept will be zero comma six, so we go up by six. That will be the y intercept. An axis of asymmetry will be just the x-coordinate of the vertex. So the x equals negative 1 will be the axis of symmetry. So you know the parabola will look like that. Notice that we do not have x-intercepts because the parabola goes upward and the vertex is above the zero.